Hey guys, we've been getting a lot of questions about new builds in Crestview. So today we've got a really, really great neighborhood. We're going to go through Wind Meadows today. And these are Whitworth builds. They're beautiful. Stick around to the end because we're going to take you not just through the neighborhood, but also through one of their properties. And then a bathroom. I'm not sure why this door is closed. Welcome to Wind Meadows. Let's do this little driving tour and check this little neighborhood out in North Crestview. So this is gonna be up by Old Bethel Road, which we will show you guys here in a bit where all the main roads are. The shopping center's right outside of this so that you guys can kind of get a feel for the neighborhood, but check this out. This is Whitworth Construction. Please stick around to the end. We are going to visit this beauty in just a minute. Oh, she looks good, doesn't she? Doesn't she? <laughs> Fine, AJ. She's not near as excited as I am, <laughs> apparently. Oh, look at all these people parking in their driveway instead of using their garages. We'll talk about that more later. There's like five cars in front of this one. Should have gotten a three-car garage, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful little neighborhood. So in this particular neighborhood, there aren't any amenities like a pool or anything like that, but you do have much larger lots and much smaller HOA fees. Currently they are $197 per year. And if you'll notice, you don't see any power lines hanging around. So really cool because you don't have to worry about power outages so much. Everything's underground as you can see, really convenient and also super aesthetically for those of you that are like being a little OCD about seeing those wires all over. Yeah, people that are worried about the hurricanes, that is a pretty big benefit to you. So we are actually almost done with our driving tour. This is a smaller neighborhood. We've only got a couple of streets here. It's just one example that Whitworth has, which is uh, one of the builders that we're gonna be talking about today or the builder that we're talking about today. Uh, they've got other complexes or other areas, I guess not really a complex, uh, that they are building in. Uh, but this gives you a pretty good preview of what it's like to live here. All right, so this is Old Bethel Road that we were just on. And then going this direction is a main road coming in and out of Crestview. And check this out. This is, I don't know, 400 feet from the neighborhood we were just in. So you've got all the important stuff, you know, your little <laughs> liquor store. Actually, we need to stop there real quick. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and there, there's some ice cream. Yep, so you got Winn-Dixie, so you've got your shopping here. There's also a Publix nearby. Right across the street. Oh, nope, I'm hitting things way over there. You can barely see it. It's like right here above AJ's head. That's the Publix as well. Publix is um, a little bit fancier than Winn-Dixie, but Winn-Dixie is just fine as well. We've got um, some other stuff. We're going to pull over here, park, and kind of chat with you guys a little bit about the neighborhood that we just checked out. Okay, so we've got the Publix, we've got the Winn-Dixie, we've got the little shopping center right here, and there are a lot more going down this way. We're not going to show all of them, but you kind of get the point. This is kind of right next to everything. It is on the north side of Crestview, so if you're headed to Eglin, you're headed uh, down to Hurlburt Field, even Duke, it's going to be a little bit longer than it might be if you were in South Crestview, which is generally more desirable for the people that are headed south, um, but not all the time. Sometimes people want a little bit more room, a little bit bigger house, a little bit nicer, things like that. So let's talk um utilities oh yeah so because you're on the north side of crestview and it's considered to be somewhat a little bit less desirable because it's a farther drive to most things that people want it means your buck goes a whole lot further <laughs> but keep that in mind whenever you're heating and cooling those larger spaces so with the house that we're about to see, I don't want to ruin it for you on how big it is, but it's a little bit bigger of a home. It is going to cost a little bit more to heat and cool. So you can expect your electricity to be around $200 most of the time, but in the dead of summer, like it is right now, it's brutally hot. It is going to be a little bit higher than that, especially if you like your house to feel like an igloo cooler. Like me. <laughs> yeah. So your water is generally going to be fairly decent, depending on the size of your family. You're looking at a hundred to $200 most of the time. Um, obviously if you've got kids that are taking an hour long shower that might be a little bit more if you throw a pool into the mix or a hot tub or something that might also go up or if you're like me you don't have to be a kid to take really long <laughs> hot showers constantly <laughs> 
So we're going to flip the camera around in a second, and I want to show you a couple of the key markers. As you just saw, we talked about Old Bethel Road, also known as Airport Road. So on the uh, east side, it is Airport Road, and on the west side, it is Old Bethel Road. They're the same thing. So if you hear that now, right across from us, let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and flip it. So right across that AJ is pointing our camera at, that is 85. That is the main road that goes in and out. If you were to take this to the camera's left or north, you're gonna head north, obviously. And then if you take it to the right side, then you'll be headed south and that will get you to Eglin Air Force Base, Duke Field, um, 7th Special Forces Group, uh, Niceville, Fort Walton Beach, and then from there you can split off into Navarre and Destin. So as you're seeing on your screen right now, hopefully, if I remember to take the video, we've got the two cross sections that are going through town, which is I-90 and I-10. Now they both go basically to the same place. There's a slightly different route for each of them. I-90 is going to be the more traveled one. It's a more direct route. And that's gonna get you over into Freeport if you're headed east. And if you head a little bit further than into Panama City Beach. And then if you head the other direction, you're gonna go to Pensacola. That's also the direction you will head if you wanna go to Blackwater. So any of the cool Blackwater videos you've seen of us floating down the river or you know in kayaks and stuff like that, that is where that's located. It's actually only about 25 minutes from where we are sitting right now. So if that outdoorsy lifestyle is for you, but you also want to be close to the Florida beaches, then Crestview might actually be a pretty good option for you, which is probably why you're watching this video. Even though we've talked about how this area is a little bit out of the way compared to, you know, south of Crestview, you still have all the great amenities that you would need. You saw, you know, the Publix and the Wayne Dixie right over here. And of course, you know, the liquor store and ice cream, <laughs> which is far more important. But I'm going to show you across the street. You've got the post office right over here. So that's right there. And then we're going to show you when we drive back the other way that you've got the Davidson Middle School right up the road from the neighborhood. So if you've got middle school age children, this neighborhood might be absolutely perfect for you. You've got tons of space for your kids to run around and you're right there next to the school. So if you need to get there quickly, you can. Go Panthers. What? A rival new construction area? We might have to do a video on this at another time. Would you guys like to see that? All right, we are just leaving the neighborhood here. We're probably a hundred feet outside of it. I wanted to show you this. That is Davidson Middle School. So if you got middle school age children, they can become a panther right here. Like they'll turn into an animal? No, I don't think that's actually how it works. Although that's probably a good question we need to ask. And then look at this. Right here. Where my little finger is. That's Pounders. It's Hawaiian. If you haven't had Hawaiian before, it's a lot of food for a really good price. And it's always got food trucks out there. It's so good. It's so, so good. good. We're so, turning on to 85. So this is 85. This is the main road coming in and out. This is about as far north as the majority of people live. So as you'll see back there, you stop seeing houses off in the distance there. There are still some back there. Um, and there's still a good amount of people that live back there. But you start getting into other sub-cities after that. So Auburn. And then if you keep going further north in Auburn, then you head into Jay. And then you head into a whole new state. A brand new world. A brand new world. <laughs> I shouldn't sing. Oh no, I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. And look, then you have the high school. And the oh, high school. Gosh. From a panther to a bulldog. Please don't hit us with your car. Okay, you guys just have all the stuff over here. You got Taco Bell, Taco Town, Sonic. Sonic. That is the best food after a wild night is Sonic sausage egg cheese. Uh, there's nothing beats that. It's so good. Or Waffle House if, you know, you're still suffering. <laughs> you seem to have a lot of information on this. <laughs> I read books. Oh. <laughs> I'm on social media. I know where all the cool people go after I'm asleep in bed. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. 
seems believable almost. <laughs> Ooh, the Hub City Soapery, if you like soap. Which... I was definitely going to make a joke there. <laughs> and then El Paso, off in the distance. One of the better Mexican restaurants here. And I'm just pointing out things just because we're driving. It's a whole new crispy. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> oh, look. It's a thing AJ is looking for in her dating life. Goodwill? Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been about three minutes, probably four minutes, something like that, since we have left the neighborhood. And we're kind of getting into downtown a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit further that way. But what we wanted to show you is right here. 90 east and west. So here when traffic starts moving. This area is pretty cool. The historic area, they've got some nice food stops and some like antique places. Just a cool little area. So if you're headed into Mossy Head or of course Pensacola or Panama City, these would be the roads that you would take. You'd either go left or right there and jump on the highway. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. <laughs> oh, well, that was boring. <laughs> All right, we are back. We are back. Here's your Aldi's. If you're coming from overseas and know what an Aldi's all about. If you're not coming from overseas. Oh, hold on. Before I get into that, Chick-fil-A. Chick you have to know about this Chick-fil-A. It's got two drive throughs That's how important Chick-fil-A is to Crestview. We don't even have that in the other cities. Not with two drive throughs yeah. Not in Fort Walton. Well, Fort Walton does now. And Destin. Okay, here we are. And this is I-10. I am pretty sure earlier I said 90 was the more popular one. That is not true. It is 10. I had the two confused. Please ignore me. I mean, don't fully ignore me because, you know, I'm the one giving information and stuff, but you get my point. So this is the one that you would generally want to take. If you're going to Panama City. We're going to Pensacola, Freeport, Destin. Well, Destin, I think I would go down here, but you get my point. <laughs> the Florida curse. Let me zoom this camera out a little bit on you guys. Oh, there she is. Crikey! Crikey! <laughs> She's a beaut. Look, she already got the lights on for us. Oh, that's so sweet. Let's go check it out. You guys want to go in? All right, let's get it. All right, the moment you've been waiting for, we have driven through this amazing neighborhood. Now let's go check out what Whitworth has to offer. Before we walk in, I want you guys to know this is not a cookie cutter build. Whitworth does build very high quality homes as you're about to see. Let's go. So this particular home is already spoken for, but of course there are more coming up. We're gonna talk about some of the changes between this house and some of the other houses that uh, they are building. So let's go. The first thing that you're going to notice is one of my favorite features, the three car garage. Because when you move to Florida, you don't use the garage for your cars anymore. In fact, if you look around, you will see that we park in the driveway here. Our garages are meant for stuff, <laughs> okay? But when you have the three car garage, you could still park one, maybe even two cars and still hold all of your stuff. Or like, you know, build a gym or something if you want to do that. Come on in. Oh, wow. Look at this trade ceiling. And that awesome noise. 
It's new construction that does happen, guys. A lot of times these, what do you call it? Fire uh, alarms. Smoke detectors, thank you. So in a lot of these new builds, the smoke detectors are actually hardwired into the house. And so when any of the batteries start to die, they all start to chirp. So in the event that you purchase a new property and you hear that, turn off the breaker and then change all the batteries to get it. They're gonna chirp, it's gonna be annoying, but change them all at the same time. Like pretty much as soon as you close on it, go change all the batteries and then flip the breaker. You'll be so happy that you did. <laughs> yeah, they put those in when it's still being built. So the batteries end up dying by the time the house is built because Whitworth builds generally take like anywhere from about eight to 10 months, mostly. So we are sitting in the Port Royal 4 right here at Whitworth. It is one of my favorite builds because there is so much extra space, it is insane. So you obviously got the dining space over here. You've got kind of space back here, right when you walk in on the left, if you want to go ahead and show them that, AJ. Y'all excuse this little bump in my step, it's my pimp walk. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course, right here in front of the master, you've got another little flex area, which is really, really cool for those of you that maybe want like a gaming room or a little exercise room or something, or just some sort of transition from the main area into your master. Something that I really love about Whitworth's is, did you guys notice all these fans? These come standard with Whitworth, where you don't really see that with a lot of other builders. Let me check this out. Let's see my favorite part. Let's go, come on. Now, for those of you that have a spouse or somebody that you're gonna be jumping in the shower with, <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> Would you look at it? This is a two person shower for sure. Oh yeah, at least. I would even, I would consider like moving this over here, aiming it, you know, like whatever. And then of course you've got your soaking tub and you've got hers and also her uh, closets. I like how you said that they are like both hers and hers. Oh, yeah, You're right. I know how it works. I'm not married, but I understand. <laughs> and so then of course you've got a little commode here. So if you got a stinky boyfriend or stinky girlfriend, <laughs> let me know in the air. Um, so, this is one thing I do want to point out on these. This countertop does not match with what we're going to see in the kitchen. They are no longer doing this. If you buy a Whitworth build, from the time you're seeing this video until any point, these will all match all throughout the home. They'll be granite. They'll be beautiful. These are a little bit dated. They know that. That's why they change things. And also, the carpet. The carpet is the exact same way. There will no longer be carpet in these properties. From here on out, this is what you will be seeing is luxury vinyl plank and it will not be glued down. It will now be the snap and click or pop and lock, as <laughs> our friend Andy likes to say, uh, who you know helps us with these builds. So let's go ahead and go on to this kitchen here. You've got your space for your fridge. Keep in mind, new construction does not only come with a fridge unless you negotiate it in. So it's just one of the things you're gonna have to think about. Also with a fence outside when we get out there, that is another item that needs to be negotiated in. Now, What's really cool about new construction, particularly with Whitworth builds, is they've got preferred lenders and they really help you out with some of your closing costs. So it might not be zero down because this is a little bit higher quality of a builder than some of the others in our area. So they're not generally going that way, or at least they haven't in a long time. You still have an option to get a good chunk paid for. So keep that in mind. This property is going for 439,000 right now. So if you're watching this video a year from now, it's probably not still going to be the case as it never is, but for right now, it's for $439,000. And what you get is all the fixtures that you see. Of course, you're going to see all the vinyl plank flooring that Mongo just said, no carpeting. These double tray ceilings that we're seeing, that was kind of an added bonus that this particular buyer received. Those are not going to come standard. You will get all of those tied in smoke alarms. This property is just over 2,700 square feet. So much room for activities. We've got four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and then two flex areas. And look at how massive these bathrooms are. This is just a guest one, and it's huge. And what's cool is you've got this door right here for the outside. So if you decide to play in the sprinklers outside, you decide to put in a pool or something like that, you can actually put your pool in and your friends and guests and children can go inside and wash off before they mess up your beautiful house. In this neighborhood particularly, the lots are about 
0.5 of an acre. This one's a little bit smaller and I think she said it was like 0.42, but they're large, they're large lots. So plenty of room for a pool, plenty of room for a little fireplace, whatever it is, however you want to spend your time outside, you've got the space for it. Maybe put a little gate between yours and the neighbor's house so that you can use their pool. I don't know. <laughs> Thinking smart. <laughs> So once you finish, you know, taking a shower or whatever in that bathroom, you've got like your own wing over here. And notice this storage. These Whitworths, they come with so much storage, which is wonderful because a lot of times you just don't have that much. And the rooms are great size right over here. You've got two of them. So they share that restroom right over here. We've got the master just back through here. And then if you come through the kitchen, pardon my limp, you've got a massive laundry room right here leading to the three car garage. Another bedroom. And then a bathroom. I'm not sure why this door is closed. Because it's the third bathroom. <laughs> That's three different places you can use the toilet and shower. These are full baths, which is really, really awesome. So, you know, the kids getting up in the morning, your guests, whoever, they're not having to fight all the time because we've got plenty of places to go use the potty and also shower off from a fun day here in Crisfield. Okay, let's go to my favorite feature. And the reason why I almost bought this exact model out in the bar, because it's a little bit closer to where I want to be, Crestview's great, which is not where I want to be. But right here. So this is the three car garage. For those of you that have extra stuff, you want to put a car in here, I would actually be able to put a vehicle in here, two even, and still have an indoor gym. I know I'm a chunky fella, but I still like my working out, okay? And that's exactly what the space would be good for, for me personally. For you, maybe it's two vehicles and some stuff. Maybe it's three vehicles. Maybe it's a golf cart. I don't know what you're into, but look at how much room you've got. We could practically play football here. I would suggest it because it's a little warm, because it is not you know, air conditioned, obviously. And you've got your water heater outside, which to me is always a good thing because if this leaks, then it's gonna leak in your garage and not cause a ton of damage. Ooh, we switched cameras, what? <laughs> oh, and one last thing. If you're looking at new construction and for some reason you're not working with us, which you probably should be, by the way, all of our contact information is gonna jump up on the screen right now. We are realtors first, you can call us, we can definitely help. But if you are buying new construction without us in a different state, in a different area, what have you, Always make sure you're looking right here. These are not always provided on your construction. This is one of the little sneaky things that builders will omit to lower their cost. They won't put garage door openers. You can also check for gutters. That's another really big one. So keep those in mind if you're looking for new construction, a little tidbit for you. One last cool thing I do want to show you on these Whitworth builds. You normally have to add these in. I'll have to check with the agent involved to see how they're still doing. <laughs> but right, right, right here, you've got some connectors so that if you've got a lamp, you've got something over here, you've got something to plug them into, you've got those cool couches and things like that. So if you guys like this style and you like the little video we're doing, you're thinking about moving to our area, you want a little bit more information. As I mentioned before, you can call, text, email, however you want to get a hold of us. We can shoot a video that's a little bit different than this one because this one is obviously meant for YouTube, but we can shoot one just like this for you if this happens to be the kind of thing you're looking for. So I think, I think that's everything we want, right? Let's get out of here.